it's August 4th, 2020. Welcome to my channel. I'm Dana Durford, the nuclear proctologist.org. If you haven't heard of me, um, we'll be doing a live show starting tomorrow night. I hope everybody's doing good. I'm just back from a research expedition on the east coast of Canada where the spiders are actually missing and the ants, and the birds, and the bees. And the wasp. So we got a new site. Our last site was taken down by the nuclear industry while I was on the research expedition. And that's the world we live in. The truth is banished. I just want to get you up to speed, seeing as we got you here. By the way, you can always call me. 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 709-589-4406. I am here to go to war for you. So let me remind you of Fukushima. It had a nuclear meltdown. It had an earthquake, a tsunami, nuclear meltdowns, reactor one. Up to a million sieverts, five sieverts is a lethal dose, 10 is a lethal dose that day, 20 is a lethal dose, a million is a dose that is unbelievable from football fields away. You know, the woman detonated, and we actually got video footage of that. Reactor 1, by the way, the damage was caused by the earthquake, not the tsunami. Reactor 2, completely liquefied. We've never seen that in the history. But as you can see by Unit 2, it still looks like, looks like it's intact, but it's actually gone China syndrome, and it did hemorrhage a lot of radiation into the environment. And they claimed that Western Tokyo may be contaminated when Reactor 2 core was exposed. That's Reactor 3. Well, it was. The reactor cores, by the way, were stored at the top of the buildings for decades. They're gone, too. Chernobyl was 200 tons. Uh, and it was graphite, mostly. These reactors are 800 tons of pure uranium and plutonium, meaning they're at least 100 times more... Uh, fission products in Chernobyl. In Chernobyl, they actually closed 9,000 farms in Ireland and Scotland and United Kingdom. Reactor 3 was the mixed oxide fuel facility. And that's Reactor 3. It's supposed to be 190 feet tall, by the way. Reactor 3, so they used... Uranium and plutonium reclaimed from nuclear missiles and used fuel, which means it already gone through a chain reaction, which makes it uh, apparently a billion times worse than a normal meltdown. It's a planet killer. This is the actual reactor three. They're actually faking the building. They're pretending, these are official pictures, that it looks in perfect shape. I inserted myself to show you how easy it is to manipulate. And reactor 4 was completely destroyed, completely gone right away. The reactor cores, by the way, for decades were stored at the top of the buildings. They're also gone. This dwarfs all nuclear testing, all nuclear accidents. On Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, Santa Susana, by the way, was 400 and 60 times worse than Three Mile Island. So they're pretending they're in a building that don't exist. That should concern you. I'll play this little clip for you. Where I was standing is on top of what used to be reactor building number four. The whole of this building was blown apart by a huge explosion. We are here inside reactor four at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that was severely crippled during the earthquake and tsunami of 2011 of the decommissioning work taking place here in Reactor 4. At the end of our tour, we were checked for radiation exposure. In four hours, I received the equivalent of less than a chest x-ray. 1,500 highly radioactive fuel rods inside this pool. They've got to move them outside of this reactor. These are insane people. Now, apparently, that's acceptable. 
they're murdering you by doing that. They're disarming you, and now now you're gonna put yourself in harm's way. But exposing that makes me a bad person. They just took down my site. The radioactive fallout. This is just one of the many depictions. So that's the Pacific. This is the Atlantic. I'm currently doing research on that uh, end of Canada. This is a shocking uh, news I'm going to show you. 450,000 times of just xenon, one, one of the thousand fission products we have to worry about. And the IAEA admitted there is no safe levels of radiation. In fact, that their standards are based on natural, not anthropogenic man-made isotopes. So they should be disbanded and put in jail for life at minimum. This is another model showing the radioactive fallout of cesium, for instance, and covered the entire northern hemisphere. And we, this is why we're doing the research. We lost 99% uh, of the species of insects uh, wiped out by the radioactive fallout. And the reason you're not hearing about this is because nuclear companies have infiltrated and taken over our universities, have captured our regulators, and have put themselves, installed themselves into little despicable inbreeds into key positions in governments. In fact, it was so bad that they actually were going to have a draft and everybody was going to be forced to go into the nuclear meltdown. They decided to just eradicate the homeless and the immigrants and the people who don't speak the language. 60 and older should be prepared to die at the Fukushima plant. Imagine that your power plant breaks down and people 60 and older now should be prepared to die because your power plant breaks down. And it's carbon free and green and too cheap to meter, right? You're being uh, led over a cliff. It's time to make a stand. It's now or never. Deteriorating plant threatens mass extinction around the world. Not because it's going to blow the world up, but because of radioactive fallout like I've shown you. Uh, in nuclear engineer, I agree. Fukushima can be a extinction event because of radioactive fallout. Experts agree that species of wildlife and fishes are endangered globally, worldwide. Not due to the ocean, but due to the radioactive fallout. Here's another depiction. There is an actual study over there of the radioactive fallout here in Canada. And they're, while they're looking at 129, it would have been saturated. That sample, one liter, would have been saturated with all the other fission products. And they found 220 million atoms per liter of rainfall. This was sustained for many weeks fallout. So this wiped out most of the species here in Canada, Northern Hemisphere. Human civilization may destroy itself. I mean, look at Fukushima. Liquefaction of three reactor cores. Was, uh, it was actually not just the three reactor cores. It was four, counting building four. It was also, because that's covered up, and it was, as I showed you earlier, and it was also all the reactor cores stored at the top of the buildings are gone. This is a catastrophic apocalyptic extinction level event for our planet they are burying it and they are exterminating you are you going to stand up 1500 atoms of the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs was detected in the california air it's unprecedented this uh, is a very hot particle and it causes up to 1800 illnesses and diseases and autoimmune deficiencies and injuries and illnesses in fact, they've seen 360 atoms of sulfur in males showing up in their testicles each day sequestered, which, mean, which means it would have been saturated with plutonium, americium, neptunium, and strontiums. And curium, by the way, is the biggest byproduct of the radiative fuel. And you need lead shielding 20 times thicker for curium fission products than you do for plutonium, which is named after the devil. This is why we're seeing an extinction event. The only way to preserve the human life is to completely turn away from nuclear power. It's a Nobel Prize winner trying to warn, warn you. Nuclear fallout will engulf Taiwan. People should stay home. But they didn't warn you here in Canada. And the models clearly showed, and the studies, that it did show up. They closed the schools in Korea, but they didn't warn you in Canada or the United States, did you? And in fact, local media recently is starting 
to acknowledge that nuclear has some dangerous attributes. Nuclear power has the risk of destroying the planet because of radioactive fallout. And that doesn't, it doesn't have the risk, it, it is destroying the planet. That's what our research is showing. This is why they just took my site with over a decade's worth of material, 1,600 presentations down. So all those blogs that was carrying my videos now have an empty video in an attempt to silence the truth. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to sit in silence. It's a crime for me to sit in silence. So I'm back off the expedition because I was forced back. My site was taken down. Time to quit nuclear power altogether threatens the very existence of human civilization as we know it. And once the nuclear accidents occur, everything is over. Zero prospects of restoring anything, particularly the habitat. It can't be done. Leading director in Japan, nuclear power generation is the only invention that can destroy the future of humans. You can't destroy the future of humans without destroying all the other species. And we may not be able to live in Japan someday. Actually, we're not even supposed to be anywhere in the Northern Hemisphere because of Fukushima currently. Wrap your mind around that statement because it's actually true. 50 beckles a kilogram in humans lead to irreversible lesions in the vital organs. Do you think that's not applicable to animals and mammals and insects too? And we've seen a million becquels of uh, fission products in that study. And at 11 becquels a kilogram, you see heart problems for children. That's applicable for animals and birds and mammals and everything else, all the species. Rain with 20 million particles of radioactive iodine. This doesn't turn to fury dust. These are, when you see a number like that, it means all the other fission products had to show up too. Iodine is not the only product. And by the way, iodine is extremely effective at destroying your thyroid. But for every iodine-131, there's 10 times more iodine-132 showed up. And 30 times more iodine-133, they're nine times more effective at ionizing and radiating the thyroid glands of animals and insects and birds and mammals and humans than the 131, which is extremely effective. They didn't warn you, did they? 220 million atoms, as we showed you that one earlier. We launched expeditions in Vancouver to British Columbia for six years. And the expeditions showed unequivocally, unequivocally, that Fukushima is an extinction event. Year after year, we went back, and those species never returned. They were completely wiped out. These are authentic before and after pictures in the same place, completely. So I put a, bird or a butterfly in there, a butterfly, a butterfly in there to, uh, to show you how color would stand out. And you can see over there what it did look like pre-Fukushima, pre-Fukushima, post-Fukushima. The species never came back. The only way for that to happen is if the ocean itself is sterilized, and that's exactly what we discovered. I was arrested repeatedly for trying to warn the public about this, and uh, I was quite shocked that I was rejected, that the truth, something so shocking was rejected. In fact, the opposite, I was, or the, the truth was rejected, I mean, I was arrested and given gag orders, so I couldn't tell you who was covering that up. I was vilified and demonized and smeared and slandered and attacked for being honest, for, for being outraged, for having a moral compass. I'm a bad person. I was portrayed as a bad person because I care, because I said that's wrong. That made me now permanently a target because I went and done the research and I showed that this is an extinction level event. I'm not a bad person for doing the research. I, I was just on a research expedition. They took down my site Why I'm on the expedition because it was showing an extinction event here on the East Coast. Okay, so the, this is my new site. Please subscribe. And what you're going to find out is that I am 
100% honest, and I am here to fight for you. Arnie Gunnarsson, on the other hand, is here to lie to you. Most certainly, Quater, Quater if Unit 4 goes dry, there's Unit 4. The division I ran built nuclear fuel racks for boiling water reactors exactly like Fukushima. And so he built the fuel racks for Unit 4, and he knows they're gone. And he's telling you to move south of the equator if it goes dry. Well, guess what? It went dry. Now, he's not the only one to lie to you. We are here inside reactor 4 at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. It was severely... I apologize. I don't know why that is stuttering. My apologies. Just uh, three more to click through. So, Arnie Gunnison says, move south of the equator, equator if unit 4 pool goes dry. Now, do you, the fuel pools were at the top of the building. There is no top to the building. Arnie Gunnison knew that. And so he has spent a decade lying to you. CNN and the other media I showed you earlier have done the same thing. They're pretending you're on a building. You are in danger. You are in danger. You're in real danger. I'm not the bad guy for calling these people monsters and villains and demons because that's exactly what they are. God bless you. Hugs for your loved ones. We'll start the live stream tomorrow night because we can't go on the expedition due to the fact that you took down my site. That's not going to slow me down or stop me. We are here to go to war. We are at war. They are exterminating us. Are you going to sit in silence? At least have the courage to support the people like me. God bless everybody. Hugs for everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow night for the live show. The first live show on my new site. God bless.